Hey there viewers, my name's Trincy and welcome back to another DCSS Monday. That's right, today we're we'll going be hopping back in. Unfortunately yesterday we weren't able to get on at the usual time to finish our run, but today we're going to be jumping in with our genie and hopefully making it out of the dungeon in one piece. We'll have to see how it all goes down of course, but we hop in here, we can take a quick peek at where exactly we left off with good old Aladdin Sane here. I believe we had just gotten our spider rune. We we're thinking about maybe heading off to Shoals next to pick up another one of those bad boys. In general, our spell list was looking quite good. I was pretty happy with everything that had shown up. Lightning Bolt has been helping us out a great deal. And the statue form we got near the end. And I didn't quite experiment with, so we'll have to give that a try this time to see if it's actually worth it or if the intelligence that we lose from melding our body armor onto ourselves is not worth the, the switcheroo for the armor class there. But everything was looking fine and dandy where we last left off here. So without further ado, I guess we'll just hop back into it. We'll take a quick peek at our skills. Fighting already maxed out, that's quite nice. Evocation's getting up there as well, and probably the best defensive skills we've ever had for this stage of the game. Largely thanks to good old Ash and Zari, but also just because we don't have to split so much experience between all the different schools in order to get everything castable like we would normally do on a spellcaster here. But now I guess, without further ado, let's hop into it. That was a little preemptive in the first call out there. But let's head off to the entrance to Shoals at the very least, and we can maybe dip our toes in, take a quick temperature test of the water, see how everything's looking. Shoals is always a bit of a nightmare, but we'll see how it goes. Maybe before we head down, we'll give a quick peek to statue form to see how things change. So we're at 23 armor class, 38 intelligence. So we lose that eight intelligence off of our armor, but we go up to 43 AC. Okay, that's quite nice. Can't lie. Unfortunately, it does mean that we lose a little bit of spell power across the board, I'm guessing. Let's maybe end that transformation and double check that. Yeah, Full Minute Prism is usually at the 75 instead of 66. But all in all, it's probably still worth it to use statue form here and just reduce the amount of damage we're taking by a decent little bit here. But okie dokie. Let's hop into it, try not to get ourselves killed within the first couple minutes of the stream. That would be nice. I also should quickly hop into our spells for some rearranging because I think I'm going to bring Lightning Bolt up to the Magic Dart spot here. Not really using Magic Dart anyway, it makes it a little bit easier to cast that in the future. Do I have anything quiet though? Not so much. I guess just our uh, box fire. Which honestly isn't too bad. Against just the snake here, we'll definitely bring that out to play. It's nice not to make too much noise. Wait, can my foxfires not see around the corner? Guess not. A little bit of a weird issue there, but not too bad. We're back on the road. All we can hope is that we don't get too many javelineers. Ideally, not too many scary, unique soul bunched together in one place either. Definitely have had a decent amount of history with that. But Foxfire is doing a nice amount of work here, especially because it is creating these clouds of steam whenever it hits an enemy that is standing in water. So that little bit of extra damage definitely goes a long way. And beauty. I guess no longer have statue form up. Gotta start paying attention again now to when that is and is not operational here. In fact, let's pop that bad boy back on. This alligator snapping turtle is no joke. We might even have to switch over to our lightning bolts. The foxfire not quite doing the trick. Still not too bad here, all things considered. Ah, uh, see, that's why I was trying to hold off on the lightning bolts. As soon as we cast even a single one here, we're calling all sorts of attention to our side. Hmm. We're a long way from the entrance as well, which is not grand. Could try shadow creatures and hope that the uh, moray of beasts that get summoned from that 
trip up our enemies, get in the way a little bit, but there's no guarantee that will work out. So I think I'm going to read a quick teleport here. Shoot off some lightning bolts where they are likely to hit multiple targets. Maybe this time around we'll switch over to the merfolk just so that we get at least one kill here for the end. Oh right, we're genie. I kind of forgot that we're always flying. So that actually makes shoals a decent amount more manageable than it usually is. That's pretty sweet. In my head, I was completely disregarding the fact. So we're actually going to be able to explore the entirety of the area here. Is it possible for me to hit two of you? Just barely not possible. We'll take the two, and yes, I will fire in my Foxfire's direction. Without a single regret. This lightning bolt's dealing a ridiculous sum of damage. Love to see it. Definitely a pretty even trade-off between the noise it creates and the amount of overall damage that it lays down upon our foes. We can just completely lay waste to especially single targets. Gets a little bit trickier when they're in groups, for sure. Let's hop to it. Water Nymph just getting one shot out of the water. Love to see it. And plus two pair of gloves. That's not better than what we're wearing, right? Oh, it is. We're just wearing a, a basic set of gloves. We were thinking of switching over to this, but honestly... I mean, plus five, I kind of forgot about that. I was about to say, honestly, they're not that great, but... <laughs> I mean, the fly is obviously pointless. It's a little bit of overlap with our innate abilities here. Losing a resistance to cold is potentially bad when we already start with the vulnerability, but I believe we're at a decent place there. Ooh, no, just one pip. I was hoping we were at two. Interesting. Guess we also have no curses added. Do I have anything I'm waiting to curse? That's always the issue with coming back to these after a week. Who knows what I've forgotten in the meantime. <laughs> this isn't Sunday. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Isn't that weird? I'm not even supposed to be here these days. It's so weird seeing familiar faces on a Monday. How strange. But here we are back in with Aladdin Sane and hopefully going to do a decent job, maybe even better than our usual Sundays. Maybe Mondays are a better mind state for me. Who's to say? I'll have to see it out here. I guess we did play a decent amount of Mondays back when the tournament was on, and that is when I managed to win with an Octopode of Zom, so... We're just taking that one data point to be absolute backed. It's looking pretty good. Okie dokie. Doing some inventory management, and I think it is time that we shatter some chains. Question becomes, what do we wish to get rid of here? What all are we switching out? I mean, this arm class ring is probably on its last legs here, especially with statue form now. We can get a pretty spectacular amount of armor class on our own here. But we can, at the very least, wait until there's something promising to switch it out for. And so instead, I guess it will be the gloves gonna be the ones to go so gloves the unyielding gaze goodbye thank you for your services and could try this out I'm trying to think off the top of my head if there are any cold related mobs in shoals i don't think so a lot of water maybe somebody cast icicle i wouldn't be surprised it would be fitting in line with the general themes of the place but we'll just have to maybe keep that in the back of our minds that we don't have any resistance to cold right now. But on the other hand, we've gotten a decent amount of intelligence when we're not in statue form. We're up at 40 intelligence, which is pretty awesome. Absolutely fantastic. And just about done the floor here too. Not a bad Shoals one. I'm ready for that to completely change and for us to face all of our fears as we continue to go down. Hello, Isui. Kind of in the right category. Normally not too scared of you, but would you look at that? You throw Icicle. 
Fantastic. Exactly what we were just worrying about. Let's see, we have no Phantom Mirror. We do have a file of Flood, so we're able to uh, stop Ilsui from casting anything, at least for a few brief moments, hopefully enough to make a dent, all in all. At the very least, I guess we could start this fight, and we can run away. Yeah, exactly, so we can walk away. No, if need be, but I'm tempted to at least test the waters once more here. I mean, 152 health, if we take a look at our lightning bolt, 1d89. So if we're lucky, just smite her out of existence with a couple bolts. Wouldn't that be nice? But my boxing day was fantastic. Thank you very much, Zapid. Had some nice family dinner stuff, which was fantastic. Ate way too much food, of course, as one is wont to do for the holidays. But it was pretty great. Thank you very much. I hope everybody had a great last few days of the holidays here. Good Boxing Day, good Christmas if you celebrate it. Any other uh, celebration if you partake in some other denomination, I guess. Hope you had a fantastic couple days. I definitely did. A little late because of that for wearing my my festive sweater here but don't really need too much of an excuse to do so especially since it's comfy as all get up probably should not have started with the lightning bolt for this fight here might have been a little bit prudent to maybe stay a bit quieter to begin with but not too shabby we might even quickly check out this last downstairs just to see it's a slightly better, worse, somewhere in between place to uh, get started. Hello, Sui. Uh, immediately blink out of there. If that's the case, then we can use this as an opportunity to get rid of some of these uh, little popcorn buddies that are going to be complicating the fight. Excuse me. If we inhale Sui while we're at it, don't mind if I do. And we'll just continue to do so. Okay, that was scary. Saw the icicle hit and I was ready for my life to flash in front of my very eyes here, but not too bad. 118 health. Oh, and we're not in statue form. That's actually potentially important to keep in mind too. In fact, let's pop that on. It gives us slightly better defensive capabilities here. I think we're in a spot to try and take out the uh, mermaid enchantress here and beautiful it does manage to work out in our favor and I'm hoping the rest of the cleanup didn't go too badly not nearly as scary at the very least ideally but one can never know for sure okie dokie let's maybe pop a fulminant prism down and everything Beautiful work. And not nearly as bad as I was initially suspecting when we came across this party at the bottom of the stairs, but it's definitely still early game here, not even close to being too late for something truly frightening to pop out of the woodwork. Ooh, Nashin Sari offers another vision and a curse, evocations and melee combat. Hmm. It's actually tempting to take them up on that offer. Haven't been using melee skills too much, but if we we're planning on using the staff forever, we could end up training some staves here. Evocations, of course, always up my alley. Very much what I'm interested in popping on to any piece of equipment. Maybe we'll give it a moment, and if we forget, before it has a chance to swap out for a different vision and curse, well then I guess we didn't want it that bad anyway, so can force the decision a little bit in that regard. Fantastic stuff here in Shoals. Another thing I definitely would not mind coming across while we're here are a few shops. Be a nice little bonus advantage to try and bring into the later stages of the game. 
trying to think of what exactly we might want. One thing, I guess for sure, is some more willpower. We're a little bit lackluster in that regard here. So we will have to make some hard decisions as to what we swap out for that. At the least if it's not in ring form. Ring form makes it a little bit easier because we do have that armor class ring that isn't quite as useful as it once was. Definitely has done us wonders up until this point in terms of our survival throughout the early game. We're ready for something new here. Something beautiful. Not too bad. Still very concerned that I'm just gonna spam away with my spells here and get myself into a, a tricky spot in terms of overall hit points. I had a moment earlier today where I completely forgot how statue form worked at low health, and so I thought to myself, I wonder if a genie can accidentally kill themselves by casting too much after statue form is up. But I do believe that this is not too much of a, uh, a danger here. Because it does not take out from your current hit points when statue form expires and just takes off the top, which is fantastic. Because otherwise that is something that I would definitely find myself doing in the worst case scenario. Not too bad. It's wild that Foxfire is still able to do so much work at this stage in the game. Again, largely because we're in a water area, so what could you expect? And if you look at that, we did end up getting another curse added. In fact, Shoals might be one of the best areas ever for gaining Ashen Zari. Not Piety, because you gain that by binding your equipment, but whatever the equivalent is that determines when you get new offers and stuff because it's just wide open areas. As long as you can fly and go around the deep water on the outside, you're uncovering tons and tons of squares. We have Evo and Introspection, so that's exactly what we normally go for. So I don't see why not. We'll just pop this bad boy right on there and they will no longer be the gloves of Lacom. And instead we find ourselves with the gloves overhang to understand. Huh, that's how you do it always been a little confused as to how exactly I can gain a great understanding, but it's that easy. Just overhang. Oh, and hello, Donald. My friend, what is it that you do here? Not a whole lot because you can't come into deep water. And for that, I'm feeling slightly sorry for you, honestly. I don't think you expected this fight to go quite this way when you first came down to hunt us. Maybe. I was worried for a moment that they do fly and I just was not aware of the fact, but nope. <laughs> or at the very least, we'll never get to learn, which is a good thing. <laughs> Introspection curses would be nice. Also, hello Eggly. Hope you've had a fantastic last few days here. Happy holidays and all that good stuff. Okay, shield is potentially the next thing to be replaced here. We do already have a reflection amulet, so maybe a little bit unnecessary to double lap those or overlap them, but no real harm because our current shield does absolutely nothing for us. You're out of your element, Donnie. I just feel sorry for the fellow, really. What a, a disappointing way to end your days. Not that I can say much to that extent because I've ended many beautiful characters days in much more tragic ways in the past ah hold up this is not great stand on the stairs and then it will be fantastic and now we can just try and hit a tentacle and the main body every single time on the big old kraken pal beautiful happy holidays happy dcss sun or monday and to you as well Definitely feels a little bit strange, a little bit weird. Honestly, just not being on on Sunday already felt weird yesterday. And then get to double down on it, double dip into those strange feelings today. But happy to be back and hoping that we can put forth a good, a good showing now that we're back. Ooh, okay, bit of an interesting 
Shoals 3, or 4 rather. Hmm. I'm essentially debating if I should throw it a lightning bolt here and just cause some noise. I mean, at the end of the day, as long as we're careful, we can retreat up. Water nymphs being a little bit of a caveat there. If they flood the stairs, then we might be in a little bit of a nightmare scenario. But such horrifying results aside... Hello, nymph. We were just talking about you, friend. But still, that aside, we should be A-OK. -okay. And it's nice because none of the entrances where enemies are funneling in from are lined up with that uh, alarm trap there. Not quite so. If we end up uh, attracting too big of a crowd, they'll surround us completely, of course, and step on it. But until that day, we're sitting pretty. And ooh, right, with Ashen Zari, we can actually cheat the system here a little bit. Get some free peeks. Hello, my friends. Few impalers, some regular merfolk. Nothing too frightening yet, but I'm ready to see that thrown in my face in near moments. You've never seen fox stars get paralyzed before, that's interesting. Now that you mentioned, I don't think I have either. Not very often that enemies will prioritize them, I guess. I'm trying to think if there are any other Piercing or AoE paralyzes in the game, and I don't think off the top of my head that there are, so that's going to be very much a, uh, a water elementals only kind of thing. I always love to see new mechanics branching out like that in this game, because it still happens even after all these years. Hello my friend, there we, we do it again, twice in one go. That's, I'm surprised I haven't seen that before. I feel like I use Foxfire so often, especially since I love Fire Elementalists as a start here. Very interesting. Let's just blast all these sons of guns. We can even throw down a quick uh, Fulminante Prism. Get back in there. Just keep knocking them back into the blast radius. Beautiful. Yeah, you would have really thought that in the many dozens of runs where we brought that spell in, maybe I have slightly better uh, spells by the time we get to Shoals. Exactly, yeah. Same with you, Eggly. It must be the case. Even though, as we've seen today, it still slaps in Shoals. Especially when you're in uh, the deep water. Ooh. Okay, we are slightly lower health than I might otherwise like. Gotta be careful as to exactly what we're casting here. Wait for the barbs to wear off and then run, run away. Get the heck out of there as quickly as possible. Yeah, I guess it would have been, it would be shoals or elf where we'd be likely to see water elementals or air elementals, right? Very interesting. But onwards we go here. Oh, my Windrake pal. Yeah, it's that gosh darn airstrike that's just wailing away at us while we're trying to just trying to have a good time. But time to make some noise. Right, air elementals are resistant to electricity. One of the few enemies in the game, especially at this stage in the game, that are. Very important and good to keep that in mind. Also should probably be checking what some of these enchanted weapons are. If that was a sphere of distortion, things might have taken a bit of a turn for the worse. Wait, no? I thought I attracted one of you. Just, you saw my foxfire, not me, I guess. Assumed that I must be somewhere inside the building. Beautiful. Oh, come on. I know there are technically monsters in sight, but not really. That's just thanks to good old Ash here. Hello, my friend. 
Gotta be slightly careful here with the Aquamancer. We can even take a quick peek. Ah, so we were right when we had our suspicions that there was more ice in play. It is the Aquamancer who can also throw Icicle. That makes sense, but it's not ideal. Is that the Autumn Katana? No, it's the Zealot Sword. Oh, wow. Fancy stuff. Well, in that case, I mean, you're just going to line up all nicely. Don't mind if I do. Would I rather hit both of them or get some wild bounce shots? I guess I hit the Impaler twice. No, I'll just blast straight through. We should be able to take them down relatively quickly. Not too bad. Zealot Sword. Do we want to switch to Zealot Sword? Probably not. That's the one... Is that the one that berserks you? Or at least has a vocal with berserk? Something like that? No, nah, it's the one that berserks you. Okay. So almost definitely not something we want to add into our oeuvre here. Bit nasty if we end up going berserk when we want to be slinging spells, but a very fun weapon. I know we've had it on one of our previous characters in this series. I was just trying to recall off the top of my head if it was one of the attempts that we actually won was it wow fling i think it was one of the flings one of the the fling dynasty there i don't know always get them mixed up in my head they're all just such heroes you know such bastions of courage and beauty and strength all the good stuff Ah, and there we go. First Javelin Ear that we see in the entire branch on Shoals 4 is a pretty fantastic day in my books, for sure. If only we'd seen that on our previous character, our Demon Spawn definitely had a bit of a nightmare in this area. But I'll take what we can get here. Not too bad. So we did see that there was another Impaler or non paler another chaplain here somewhere. There she is. Hello, friend. Get the heck out of here, please. And thank you. Every single time those chaplains come streaking across the screen, I get a wee bit panicked. We're a okay. Also, those air elementals are so hard to see, especially when I'm creating clouds of smoke everywhere, obscuring the, the view. Just completely lose track of them. Much to uh, pastel of uh, a blue there. But not too shabby in terms of everything else, that, else rather that's coming pouring out of here. Nothing too frightening yet, though I'm ready for that to change. Spirit Guardian Necklace? No, thank you. Some silver javelins? I mean, I guess better than stones, so we'll pick them up for now. We also will, it's seeming. Like, we'll have a bunch of extra experience as we go through here, so it's not a bad idea to have some backup options here. So more specifically, getting throwing as a potential future investment. Beautiful, just keep sniping those, uh, those water nymphs here. Definitely fire through my box fire, not down in my mind. And beautiful. Another gosh darn javelin ear down. Love to see it. Always a good day. Well, my Windrake friend. Let's pop back to the stairs here. See if this Aquamancer finds us. It'd be kind of nice if they did, honestly. I think they know where we are, but they're just a little confused by dungeon layout. Which aren't we all sometimes. It's fair enough. The one nice thing about creating noise around those corners is it gets a little bit tricky for enemies to actually route to the area where the sound came from, so that's nice. In general, it would probably be pretty hard to determine sound in this kind of area. I mean, all the echoes are just bouncing off the walls around us. It's tricky stuff. Let's again just back on up here into a nice little heel corner. Fantastic. And I keep doing that. I keep surrounding myself with fox fires and then spamming the button 
without actually reading the text log whatsoever and just wondering why isn't this working? <laughs> Silly old me. Not too bad. Yeah, do it. Let's let's head back a little bit. Ah, hello. More javelineers, just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> and again, just not paying attention whatsoever to how one of the most basic of spells works. I mean, we've had the spell essentially since the beginning of the dungeon. One of these days we'll uh, remember exactly how it works, right? Let's definitely lead our friends into a nice little hallway where they'll line up oh so neatly for us to, uh, to blast away. Is there any fancy way for me to double hit the javelinier? Doesn't seem to be the case. That is A-OK. -okay. What about now? Something like that? Beautiful. Blast them. A lot of artifacts in here. Unfortunately, nothing that it looks like we'll be taking in for our own use. That's fine. Oh, right. Yes, let's not shoot a lightning bolt at a storm dragon. That seems slightly silly. We also haven't been using statue form at all, which is wild. It's usually such a... Uh, staple. Fantastic. Is there anything else I can use in this situation? Mostly just fulminant prisms and IMBs, I guess, to uh, to take this storm buddy out. Fantastic stuff. Not too bad. Maybe just maybe we've cleared out the majority of the center vault here. It's looking like it. And there we go. We pick up our second rune of the game. Fantastic stuff. We will have to make some inventory space. Hmm. I mean, we won't need these enchant weapon scrolls at all for the rest of the game if we do end up sticking with our staff, which maybe, maybe not. Still slightly undetermined in that department. I guess Wand of Flame can go for now. And we're filling out good old evocables. And you know what? No. Let's just get out of here. We got our rune. There's no need to go through the rest of Shoals. Everything's looking fantastic there. And okie dokie. So we got two out of three already down here. Where will we want to go for our third one? Potentially Slime. Slime is a nice one in general. We could think about going to vaults, but it becomes a question of what level 9 spells are we going to get here? Are we going to get some wild AoE? I guess not even level 9 spells, even getting something like Ignition would, uh, I mean, make a difference whether we go to slime or vaults, but it's good to keep in mind. But it's likely that it will be one of those two. Abyss is going to be a little bit scary. We make slightly too much noise with our spells and going to be a little bit tricky. Any reason to murder elves other than the obvious? Um, hmm. Is there any treasure that we're really missing? I mean, I would like to get an artifact ring with willpower on it. That would be nice. But it becomes a, a little bit of a chicken and egg situation there. I guess not even exactly, but like a dark version of, a dark twisted version of the chicken and egg where we kind of want willpower in order to go into elf, but we need to go into elf to get the willpower. I guess catch 22 is what that's actually called. Mixing up my idioms here completely. 